I'm Sierra Morris and this is Chuck and the Chicks. In this video, I'll be talking about 7 things I do to save money as a homesteader. I want to help break down the perception that you have to have lots of money or lots of land to start homesteading. Before I was a homesteader in our current home, I was a porch steader growing vegetables and herbs in buckets on my small back porch. You can start wherever you are. Homesteading isn't just a natural and peaceful way of life, it's also a frugal way of life. You don't have to have lots of money, lots of land, or expensive equipment to benefit from small homesteading lifestyle changes. Here are seven things that I do to save my family money on our micro homestead. Number one, I ferment my chicken feed. I think everyone who is involved in the backyard chicken community has heard about doing this. If you haven't heard about fermenting your own chicken feed or making your own chicken treats at home, I have a whole video about that and I'll link that in the description. The cost of livestock food is significant. I reduce the cost of feeding my flock by fermenting their feed, which not only doubles the volume of the feed, but it also improves the nutritional availability for my chickens. I also make my own chicken treats at home using simple ingredients I already have on hand. Fermenting my chicken feed and making my own chicken treats significantly reduces the cost of their food. I learned to cook at home. Prior to the pandemic, I had never invested any time in learning to cook or prepare my own food. I was working full-time, going to school full-time, acquiring extra skills just wasn't an option. My cooking skills prior to the pandemic were very basic and rudimentary. I relied very heavily on prepackaged and processed foods. Now, as a homesteader, I've learned to cook vegetables and herbs from my own garden as well as methods for preserving my own harvests. Even in an urban homestead setting where you're using container gardening, you can still grow great crops like herbs, microgreens, spinach, lettuce, kale, cherry tomatoes, and other container-friendly plants. Our homestead is still not 100% self-reliant. I consider that our lifetime goal. But with each food item you learn to cultivate and cook yourself at home, that's one less thing you're dependent on someone else for. It also saves you money. Tip number three is I shop discount racks, thrift stores, and consignment stores. I buy very few, if any, full price retail items anymore. Between social media marketplaces, thrift stores, consignment stores, and clearance items, you can often find what you're looking for at a reduced price or even free. I've also learned to do minor repairs on clothing, like repairing a tear or sewing a button back on. I'm by no means a seamstress, but these skills and being able to salvage clothing has saved me money. Finding what I'm looking for at a reduced price also saves money for my family. Tip number four is, as a family, we've learned to enjoy simple forms of entertainment. Simple and free things like reading, playing with our pets, enjoying the back porch with a cup of tea, listening to music, playing cards, putting together a puzzle, renting movies, books, or games from the library, walking in the woods, camping in the backyard, or having a small fire and a small backyard fire pit. While my husband and I still do celebrate some special occasions in town, for the most part, our family celebrations and special events are held here, at our home, on our homestead. Finding free and meaningful ways to commemorate our special occasions and spend quality time together here on the homestead saves my family money. Tip number five is I consolidate my trips to town and I shop locally whenever possible. The cost of fuel is a factor in how and when I shop. Shopping locally whenever possible not only helps small businesses in my area, but it also reduces my fuel costs. I also keep track of our grocery needs and our farm supply needs very carefully, so when I do have to go shopping, I can acquire as much as possible in one trip without having to make multiple trips. If you're using public transportation to get to and from the stores that you're shopping at, you can utilize reusable bags, shop with a friend, a roommate, or a partner who can help you carry items, or use a collapsible shopping carry basket to maximize the efficiency of your trips. Prior to bringing lots of bags onto public transportation, make sure you research the baggage policies for public transportation in your area so you can shop in a more informed way. Tip number six is I've eliminated as many single-use items as I can. I've replaced disposable water bottles with a water filter on our tap and reusable bottles. I'm slowly replacing my plastic bags with reusable plastic containers and glass lid containers. You can replace dryer sheets with dryer balls. You can replace paper towels with reusable paper towels. 
This change is not an instant one, but in every case when I notice I'm buying the disposable item again and again, I try and find a more earth-friendly, replaceable, washable, or reusable alternative. This may mean an investment in equipment up front, but ultimately saves you money in the long run. Tip number seven is I wear seasonally appropriate clothing and I've adjusted the thermostat in our house to be closer to seasonal temperatures. Whenever possible, I open the windows at our homestead to let in fresh air and live at the normal seasonal temperature. Whenever that's not practical or possible, I try to keep our thermostat closer to regular seasonal temperatures and wear clothing that's appropriate for the season. I wear light, airy, cotton clothes in the summer, and I wear wool, layers, and warmer clothes in the winter in order to save on our heating and cooling costs. I also utilize our fireplace to supplement our heating costs in the winter. I would love to know additional frugal and earth-friendly swaps you can make on your homestead to save money. If you guys have your own tips that I didn't mention in this video, please share them in the comments so that we can all learn and grow together. Thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you to my longtime subscribers and thank you to all of my new flock members. I'm so excited to have you here with us on the channel. If you're enjoying hearing tips about backyard chickens and homesteading, please like, share, and subscribe. We would love to have you as part of our flock. Thank you so much for being here. Being a new homesteader has helped me learn to celebrate the simple things. Some of the most amazing experiences in life don't cost a dime. I hope I can share some of that peace and joy with all of you. Lots of love from our coop to yours. See you next time.